Welcome to Power Query video number nine. Hey, if you want to download this file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about getting tables from different sheets in the same workbook consolidated onto a single sheet using Power Query. And the second thing we want to do is there is a bug in the latest version. So I updated to get the November Power Query update, and there's a bug. Now, this bug has been reported, and it will be fixed soon. All right, so here it is. Now, one way to get your data, one, two, three, into Power Query is to convert them to a table. So I already went to Insert table and then once it was a table I went up to design and named it so all three are tables now we go up to power query from table now power query number 10 we talked about keyboards but in power query number 10 and I know this is number nine I did these out of order power query number 10 I was using Excel 2013 this is Excel 2010 so watch the keyboard when I hit alt it's still Y1 like 2013, so I'm going to hit Y1. But look at that. It's Y8 in Excel 2010. It's Y7 in 2013. No wonder nobody does keyboard. So I'm going to Y8. Now, I do this so much and so often that I kind of do have both of them memorized. But it is sort of a waste if you're not a keyboard person and hard. Now we're going to go to close and load and I'm going to close and load to only a connection and we're going to load all three tables. So I'm going to load and our query window will pop up. There it is. All right, so over here I'm going to Alt Y1, Y8. Close and load to only a connection. Load. I'm going to go over to the fill sheet. Alt Y1, Y8. You know, the way I memorize those, it's almost a kinetic, physical thing, the way my fingers move over the keyboards, not so much the uh, exact memorization of the keys. All right, so this one we're going to close and load to. Actually, the keyboards are like a little dance. All right, so we have these three loaded, and that's what we want to do when we're going to append. Now, normally when we have three tables or three sheets and we're going to put them together, we use the word merge, but it's not the merge button, append, right? Because we're going to take some data and put it to the bottom of another table. So I'm going to click append, and it wants the first one. All of our field names are the same in all the tables, so we're not going to have much trouble here. So I'm putting Mo Sales at the bottom of Joe's. Click OK. There is the beginning. I'm going to come over and name this All Data tab. Now we come up, and for the rest of the appends, we click this append query and add it. Now we only have three here, so I'm going to click Fills and click OK. If you had more, you just boop, boop, boop. All right, so we have these two steps. Now I want to make sure that I have the right data type. So I'm going to click date and come up to data type, date, zip, and data type decimal. Now I'm going to close and load to, and a table now, because we want to put these all on the existing sheet, consolidate A1, load. And there's our 55 rows all together come down to the bottom looking good. Now, here's the bug, only in the November version. And actually, you know, Power Query, it doesn't matter. I'm using 2010 and at work I have 2013. The Power Query is the same in both of them if you have the November update. The, the one difference, of course, is that 2010 doesn't allow you to add to the data model and 13 does. All right, so let's add a new record. Click on the last cell tab. 3 slash 15 slash 2015 tab 500 and this is Tim Chip. All right, so I come over here. I either right click refresh or come up to data and refresh all or control alt F5. You can see over here it's working. And there it is. That's the error. It's not picking up the number formatting. So this is an awesome trick, and it's only this one version where, the November version, where it's not picking up number formatting. In earlier versions, it works fine. 
All right, how to get three or more sheets from a workbook consolidated in a single workbook using Power Query. We'll see you next video.